What's going on, everybody? This is Elder Jacoby Owens, and I just want to share a quick testimony. All right, um, testimony I want to share. I was maybe about two nights ago. I was watch, I was listening to Caravan to Midnight uh, with John B. Wells, and he had a guest on uh, Linda Moulton Howe or something like that, right? And she was, uh, you know, it had to do with uh, part of it had to do with the the sounds and uh, the trumpet sounds or the metal sounds or the booms and bangs that's been going on um, over the last few years, you know, uh, in America and uh, other countries. And uh, so she gets to this one account where where these two guys in different parts of the world they uh, they heard the the trumpet sounds coming from the sky or whatever they these long horn type uh, sounds these noises coming from the sky and uh, so on both accounts the guys go and they look out of the window and um, one guy saw. A triangular shaped craft with uh, uh, glowing lights on the corners of them. And uh, that one was moving across the sky. The other guy saw a triangular shaped craft with lights on the corners. Either glowing or just lights on the corners. And uh, that craft was just hovering there. Alright. And um, it's a testimony because um, I like how... God, he connects the dots for you, you know, um, years ago, had to be about 10 years or more, uh, about 10 years or so ago, I was with a friend and, uh, and I was nowhere near as deep in with the Lord as I am now. And, and quite frankly, he wasn't even into that type of stuff too heavy, you know, um, he, I don't know how this topic came up, but he told me about a dream he had. And in this dream, he's outside and he looks up, it's a clear sky. But when he looks back up, he sees like an overwhelming number of these craft, these these spacecraft uh, in the sky. Like, it's overwhelming. Like, you knew that, yeah, this is the end. We're going to die type amount. Like a swarm of spacecraft or whatever. And it reminded me of his dream because I could have swore roughly 10 years ago he told me that it was black triangular crafts in the sky, you know, because I'm the type of guy to ask, like, okay, what did the, the spacecraft look like? And, you know, but, um, so I, after that night, I called him the next day and, uh, I talked with him, like, yeah, you remember that? He's like, yeah, I remember. And then I asked him about the shapes and everything. He said, that's the only thing I don't remember. I don't remember exactly what they look like. I just know that they were in the sky, you know, he, they were in the sky, overwhelming number of them. He saw them, then he looked away, looked back, they were gone, but he knew in the dream that they were still there, all right, and, um, you know, all of it, just the dream, the, uh, the accounts, what they were talking about on Caravan at Midnight, it does just remind me of, of the great deception that's going to be coming, you know what I mean, is it the great deception? You know, I tend to think so. Some others may think differently. That's fine. You know, the, the bottom of the, li the bottom line is, as far as the great deception is concerned, we don't have solid uh, anything saying this is definitely the great deception. This particular event right here, we can make educated guesses. We can uh, say what it looks like it's going to be, but the Bible doesn't say, "Hey, the great deception is going to be A, B, C." Period. You know, but um, I do believe that that is. The great deception. Once these craft, they they line up, they uh, they're all in the sky and everything. And um, I just uh, I just think it's a blessing that he connected the dots from something that's ten years old, roughly, or a little bit more of over ten years old. You know, um, now whether these things are uh, strictly demonic, whether these things are nephilim, whether these things are uh, beings from elsewhere, you know, when they, whenever, whatever they are, if they don't promote Jesus Christ, then guess what? They're the enemy. They're, they're evil. You know, um, I believe they can be Nephilim, you know, but I don't have all the facts or all the details. All right. But, uh, word on Wednesday coming, uh, coming shortly. Uh, until next time, be blessed.